Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing with a little product review. This is the Big Block Chevy Brodix BB2 Plus. Um, I do have flow numbers at the end, but I thought I'd go over some of the stuff so you can kind of see what's up with it. Um, this head is a very economical head. Um, it's meant kind of as a stock replacement, and I'll try to give you as much details as I can. First off, it's a rectangular port, and unlike a say a 990 head it doesn't have the head bolt here which is good um i know some intakes have it you can do without it it'll be just fine this head's pretty much meant to be kind of a replacement for the 990 head with a few exceptions so it's still 26 degree valve angle which for those who aren't familiar with big blocks the stock valve angle is 26 degrees um, a lot of the aftermarket ones are 24 degrees which is two degree variants so if you're to have a shaft uh, sorry not a shaft rocker but if you have a um, stud girdle that fits a 990 head it's good chance it might fit this one I hate to say 100% sure because of the lengths but um, if your pistons are made for the 26 degrees and your 990 head fits this one should bolt on and everything should clear however this head is dramatically better than 990s now I will say there are I've seen some ported 990s that have flow better than this head but that's out of the box um, if I port these these will destroy any 990 head that's been ported but these are not ported this is how they come from the factory. So the first thing that they do is they CNC gasket match this, which is good. They also CNC bolt blend, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is how the chambers come and everything. My lighting, I'm trying to do my best job here. This is the chambers, and there you can see the CC, CNC bolt blend and the valve job. Now here's, um, so I'm giving my honest critique. This chamber is very close to say a stock 990 head. So, um, but I'm gonna give an honest critique. I hate this chamber. So I know they probably molded it after the older heads and so that very close and similar. If you look at their three extra heads, the chamber design is totally different. In all fairness, I've had more pistons hit with these chamber designs than I have the three extra stuff. So, and this chamber design is the same that's in the BB2 Plus, BB2, BB2 Extra, Race Right 270, Race Right 294, they're all the same chamber. The only thing that would change would be like the size of the valves. And why do I not like it? One, this is really hard to see in a camera, but what happens is, let me just go over some airflow basics with you. This is the top cut, which I'm doing my best to show you. And you can see where it stops. Typically for a good running head, we wanna see this top, top cut, continue onto the chamber and kind of swoop out. This one slams into this machined area. Um, hate that. So if you really want to improve them, you know, so it's got a sharp edge here, quick and easy way to improve these heads is to um, grind this back so the top um, cut kind of flushes into this and blend this in. But the other thing is, besides that, it then pokes forward. So if I have the valve in here, this is actually, usually you get more area, the valve gets, or the chamber gets further away from the valve as it opens. This one actually gets tighter right in here. I don't like that. That's how they were from the factory and I understand the reason why they did it. I just not a fan of it. And you think that's bad. This side's the worst side. See that ledge? Horrible. And this is the exhaust. See how big that is? So like when I'm porting them, I will actually blend this whole thing back and this will be like a much better design. So this will be blended in and the whole thing here. And also if you see how it's got the poke out here, yeah, this will be brought in and it swooped out. So this way when the top cut comes in, it swoops in. It's not being crowded by the chamber itself. The catch is these chambers from the factory are 119 cc's. So after you do the work, usually like 122. So then I have to mill the head back to get to 119, but the chamber's still dramatically better. All right, so what's what's the deal with them? These have 11 30 second stems. And if you're a stock big block Chevy, you're three eighths. The smaller the stem, the less the valve weighs. It also flows more because the stem's not taking as much area in here. So much better there. 188 exhaust valves, really good. Um, 225, 188, and you can tell it's got a 45 degree valve job and CNC bowl, um, bowl blending, really nice there. Okay, that's that. So uh, now let's look at the exhaust side. This is the exhaust side. Now this is where it's night and day better than any 990 head, the exhaust flow. This exhaust port is raised up. Now I will say they do have a race right BB2 plus and you might say what's the difference between just the BB2 plus and the race right uh, BB2 plus the race rights if you get any race right heads they're all stock exhaust location which means the exhaust ports actually down lower 
So, but just a regular BB2 plus that's raised up. I think it's raised up like two, three hundred thousands. Don't quote me on that. It's in their catalog, but it's raised up. This helps exhaust flow. So no 990 head's gonna flow this on exhaust. Also, it doesn't have that plug that's right here on the GM ones. The race rights do have that. Um, let's see. So that's that. Hopefully that explains something there. Um, the only downside for the raised one is if you have headers, sometimes it might have a problem clearing. It's, I hate to say one way or another, I've seen it go both ways. But the biggest advantage over this and the stock head is like 70 pounds you'll lose just switching from the 990 heads to these. It's a pretty good weight loss. Um, so about these heads, I'll go ahead and tell you, they are the same price or within 20 bucks as the any of the race rights, whether it be 270, 294, the two extras, two pluses, and the dash two. It only gets more expensive when you step up to the three extras, which are miles better than this. Also, the Dragon Slayers as well. Now, the Dragon Slayer um, big block head is also 26 degree. And if I get one in, I'll do a little video on that. So, now the question comes, well, what did it flow? Here is the flow numbers. So you've got, uh, this is the lift, so it's intake and exhaust. Now, this was flowed on a 4310 bore, which I should point out, most of the time these BB2 pluses and race rides really are going to go on something like a 496 and they have a 4310 bore so that's the reason why that was floated on that now my bore is not notched what i mean by that is if you ever look at some of the 454 blocks you'll see a notch at the top that actually increases airflow i'm not doing it on my flow bench adapters because i use them for other things besides just big block chevy so you might say that this looks confusing you have cylinder one and cylinder three um really i just accidentally skipped the spots so or give more space but what this is this is the long runner and that's the short runner Big block Chevy heads have two different ports. They've got a long runner port that really flows well and a short run that port that usually flows slightly less because of the way it's aiming into the cylinder. So hopefully that makes better sense. So if you look at this, um, you're looking at peak flow of 349.8. That's on the long runner and that's the best it's gonna do. You can tell it's a little bit less on the short runner at 332. For the record, no one ever advertises their short runner numbers because they wanna have that higher number and hopefully that helps with sales. So just giving you an idea, whether it be Brodex, AFR, Dart, nobody publishes that number, just those. So I'm just letting you know. This is the exhaust flow. Um, this is without a pipe, so not bad. So anyway, um, hope you like the video. Just trying to give you some information. Although, by the way, I forgot to mention these are 312 cc runners. They are perfect for like a 496 for street deal. Um, you could use them on bigger engines to just turn less RPM. But not a bad head, really overall. For the price it is and the stock valve angle and you don't want to change a whole lot of stuff, this is it. If you have any questions, let me know.